Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create infographics using a very simple AI tool, which is Claw 3.7 Sonnet, which is very new and it has the capability to generate different kind of infographics. So depending on the type of content you are trying to create, you can generate the prompt that you can give to this cloud 3.7 and it is going to help you to generate the infographics so you can start by logging in on the cloud 3.7 sonnet so you can search for it online on your google you can just call ahead and say cloud 3.7 sonnet just like so on google and you can see the first option over here you can click on it all you need is just to log into the account try cloud 3.7 it's completely free what we're going to do in terms of the generation and even download it's free so you can just go ahead and log in with your gmail account and follow the process to create the account so when you log in to cloud 3.7 this is how the platforms actually looks like so down here you have the chat area where you can chat and you can even add different things you can upload your files you can take a screenshot you can add document or ideas from github if you have any and then over here you can change the styling okay you can have different style and you can play around with the models okay you have 3.7 sonnet and the haiku which is 3.5 haiku which is a pro version but for this tutorial we're going to look at the 3.7 sonnet which is the free version at the top left over here you have the option to create new chat and you can open this to be able to see the history of what you have been creating also from here okay so let's start from the beginning now to get the prompt that can help you to generate the infographics, I recommend you use our old friend, which is ChatGPT. You can come over here. You can see I want to create an infographics. I've just generated some of the types. Okay, so depending on what you are creating, you can as well vary the concept and be specific with what you want to create. So infographic of different types, give me at least three different types and write the complete prompt to generate the types and be as detailed as possible with the example and detailed content of the prompt now this is the first option this is the first prompt that it has given us statistical infographics you can see to present complex data statistics or survey results in a visually digestible format now this is the data so we can just copy go back to cloud 3.7 and then we can paste it over here all right so we can just go ahead and paste it you can see create a modern clean statistical infographics with in portrait orientation that presents the results of a 25 online survey about social media usage among university students so you have the title and you have the subtitle the pie chart detail the bar chart detail the icon sections and so on the conclusion text box you have everything so let's go ahead and click on enter to this and let's see what this is going to create for us and you can see right now it is using it is creating the wonders from the text it is writing the code now from this code it is going to generate the infographics that we're after all right and you can see fantastically it has created the infographic according to what we want you can see it has picked in the title social media usage among university students in 2025 this is the survey results it has given us the preferred social media platform from instagram to tiktok to twitter and facebook you can see the pie chart showcasing the usage of the platform, the preferred media platform, social media platform. And then the average daily usage, this is it, and it has captured everything. And when you, you can remove any section that you want to remove from here by just typing or sending in a prompt or editing the prompt here, and it's going to remove that particular section. But you have to be as specific as you want. And this survey from 5,000 respondents and this results directly. So this is wonderful. And you can copy this as well and paste it in your document. Or you can download as SVG if you're interested. Or you can publish directly. So let's go back and have another second one. Let's see what it is going to create for us. So then we go to a new chat. And then let's see what we can generate with this, right? So let's go back to ChatGPT. And then let's say we take in timeline infographic this time around. And let's see how we can generate this. So let's copy this, go back to cloud, and then paste in here directly. Uh, you can see design a horizontal timeline infographic that inf illustrates the history of civil engineering from ancient times to the modern era. Use a parchment background with colored segments and historical illustrations. Title is Evolution of Civil Engineering, and then the timeline from the 3000 BC down to 2000. So, okay, smart infrastructure and green engineering. So, you can see the details, and once you hit on enter let's give it some second and see how this is going to generate the horizontal timeline infographics so let's give it some seconds to see what it is going to give us
Now, surprisingly, you could see the infographic that it has created for us. This is very, very wonderful. You can see evolution of civil engineering. It has picked in the title. And then down here, you can see the years and the development, possible development that was experienced through the years. It's 2000, 3000 BC, 200 BC, 1200 AD, 1800s and 19, 1800s and 1900s and 2000s. And these are the developments. This is wonderfully created, especially with these icons that represent the transformation. And then over here, you can see the evolution and the timeline, a brief description of what it has created. Of course, you can download this as well, or you can copy and paste it somewhere, or you can download as SVG, or you can go ahead and publish as well. So this is the second option. Let's go ahead and try the third one, which is comparison infographics. This the main purpose is to compare two options, product or service or concept side by side. Okay, so let's copy the prompt. And then this time around, I wanted to have a guide so you can try to have a reference point. So if you have a reference infographics that you want to create, so let's go back to new chat. If you have a reference infographics, like uh, in my own case, I have this reference infographic that I wanted to use this particular one. Okay, this boss versus car, this model, this format is what I wanted to use. So all I need is to go back, click on the add and upload a file and then going to this and I'm going to, to collect this. This is the infograph I wanted to serve as a reference and then I'm going to import it. Now with this, I'm now going to paste in the prompt that I've gotten from ChatGPT and then ask it to now use this particular format as a guide and then give me my own. So this is guide and then we have this and then let's see, use the attached. So we can come down here and see the use the attached reference as a guide for this result. Okay, so and then we can go ahead and hit on enter and let's see what this is going to generate for us. So you can see the one that it is actually generating. I'm just going to speed this up so that you can be able to see the result at the end of this. All right, and we can see right now it has generated the infograph that we want. And as you can see directly, it has picked in the comparison, this one as a reference uh, compared to the generic self-development directly. So we use this as a reference and you can see it has picked in title, comparing the two things side by side. And then we have the features, okay, side by side comparison directly. And down here it has the verdict or the conclusion from based on the comparison that it has here so this is wonderful and it is really really nice for you to give it a try you can go ahead and generate your own prompt to generate your own infograph and you can test it you can also edit the content or the prompt and see the effect over here so it's easy you can just go ahead and give it a try so this concludes this basic tutorial about how to generate infographics with the help of an ai completely free of charge and unlimited i hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching and i look forward to seeing you in the next one thank you and see you around